hey guys uh, welcome back to my channel welcome back to the shit tech and reviews in today's video let's quickly check what's inside this byte sale biometric id let's tear down this and see what it is really made of so yeah let's directly get in the video please enjoy so yeah it's a you know, kind of a card but not a size of a card so this is how it looks um that's i've already done a review on this you can definitely check that out i was not very impressed with this product and there was no good finishing also of this product so we'll see if we can open it and see what's inside this so yeah let's open this now i don't want to break this as well i want i want to open it very cleanly uh, and put it back as it is so let's try that I don't have a lot of tools to open this. Let's try with all the existing things which I have and try to open this. I do want to break this as well. It's all glued actually. I can feel the I can feel the glue coming out. We can see it's coming out. Something is blocking this, I'm not sure what exactly. It was the USB port that was blocking. So actually the USB port is inside this. So that should have been taken out carefully. Hopefully it have not break that. So let's see. So I've opened it. There's a flex cable which I need to disconnect. So I've disconnected the flex cable and to take the cable out. It's for the fingerprint sensor. So this is the fingerprint sensor module and it's exposed over here. So this is where they connect the fingerprint sensor. So if you see here, this is the things that is available. So these are the modules which they are using. There are two buttons actually, only one button is exposed. So probably, so they have exposed the, this button, this is used as power button and it's working fine so let me turn this off so everywhere they have added glue there's a battery they have placed it well the placement everything looks good only the finishing was not good and there's a bluetooth module i guess should be something similar to esp32 and there are few ICs I can see and a lot of resistors and capacitors on LED not quite sure what this switch is for probably for resetting ideally in ESP32 you can see two switches coming up one is uh, for booting up and the other one is reset button to restart not sure what this is for or maybe it is not at all used and there's an orange led which is not visible outside yeah this is what is inside they have uh, so they have added their name as well on this pcb pcb board byte seal 3.2 version so 
luckily I have not bent this C port so basically it was so basically it was inside this so I was simply trying to you know pull, pull it upwards should have taken it something like by sliding it not just pulling it upwards so that is one mistake which I did this is what is inside this is a close-up view so this is the main this is the bluetooth module I guess So I checked it on ChatGPT. So this is a Bluetooth module. Not sure why they have, uh, you know, made use of such a big Bluetooth module. There are a lot of miniature Bluetooth modules that's available. And they are using Bluetooth Low Energy as well. I don't know for Low Energy why they require such a big module. Not exactly sure. But yeah, they should know it better. I'm no one to you know comment on that. But yeah. This is how it is, how the inside looks like. Let me know what is your thought. So these are ICs. One of the IC should be microcontroller or where they have written all the logics. But yeah, this is it. This is the inside of a byte seal biometric ID. Nothing much. So that's all in this video guys. Let's put this thing back and see if all if everything is working fine now. So I've connected the flex cable back. Hopefully everything should work now. Let's quickly test this by putting everything back. So I've connected everything back. And this is doesn't look like metal. It is not metal. It's a hard cardboard somehow, not a metal or something. So this USB was a little down. So I've fixed that as well. So let's see if fingerprint sensor works. So fingerprint sensor is also working fine. I can see green coming up. So everything is working fine. So that's the inside of a byte seal biometric ID. Let me know what is your thought. And uh, I don't recommend this product again to you all. So that's all in the video guys. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do the like button, subscribe, comment. Let's catch you again next video. Until then, see you. Bye.